today's episode of Footprints, a podcast that tells and shares the stories of our elders in whose footprints we walk. The elders are telling us the stories of their transition moments. What did they feel? How did they experience them? What were their fears, their hopes, their mistakes, and the things they did well? And what would their advice be to leaders that are going through those things right now? Today, our special guest is Joy Mugarura, also known fondly as Auntie Joy, and that's what we shall call her through the program. Auntie Joy, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for welcoming me. Auntie Joy, Auntie Joy. Yes. So Auntie Joy, for those who don't know you, have never known you, mm-hmm. and they're listening to this from all corners of the world, Yes. tell us a bit about yourself. Well, you have heard my name. I grew up in a Christian home, and... It shaped me in many ways. My father was a church teacher and he loved God very much. And he taught people the Bible. His book, textbook was the Bible. Mm -hmm. And so he taught us many things as I grew up. And so eventually I got married. I'm married to Benon, Reverend Canon Benon Mugaramutana. We have been married for 52 years. And uh, then I got married. Maybe I sat there. I got married and I have five children uh, whom God gave us as gifts and we treasure them very much. And that's who I am. That's who you are. I am a mother. I'm a grandmother. I am a mother-in-law and... Great grandmother, currently we are looking after a tiny baby of nine months. No, yes, 11 months. And so I I am Auntie Joy yes. to many people. Yes. Yes. And Auntie Joy, mm. you went to school, of course. Yes, I did go and to school. What did you study? What did you become? What did you do in your early <laughs> career? Uh, my school, first of all, my father loved send us to school, mm-hmm. sent to us to school when we were young, young. I'd go with my brother and he would take us some distance and leave us there. And he would go looking at flowers, really, we were young. But he insisted, we went to school, primary school, there was church schools, from church school to P1, very far away. From Kanungu, Kambunga to Kanungu, and on from the primary six, would go primary six and then go to junior one and junior two before you go to secondary school. And then from secondary school, I went to Nyakasura second school, Nyakasura secondary school. It was a school. And I uh, spent there four years. Then I came from there, I went to a vet school where they taught, it was not a degree school, it was a diploma school, mm-hmm. where I spent three years, and then I started working in Kabale, in a vet office. I spent there one year, and then I got married, and then I was transferred to Kampara at the central office. Mm-hmm. And that's where I worked. For a few years, three years, from Kawari to there, then my husband got a scholarship to go to Canada. Then we had to go to Canada, so I stopped to work. Mm-hmm. Then we had three children. I went to Canada with three children. I didn't do much. I tried to do some school. It didn't work. I applied to a vet school college, but the things they were giving me, or I, I couldn't, they were all simple. I didn't know how to stay in that school. Mm-hmm. So I left and stayed at home. I did some typing. Then, of course, looking after children, because there they are no house help. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's what we did there. He went to school. We lived in two places, and eventually we came back to Uganda. 
And when we came back to Uganda, things had changed completely. We spent five years in Canada. We had another child. So now we have four children. And we came, it was a difficult time to come from Canada. You come to a place when there was chaos. Mm. But we didn't have any choice. We stayed. There were challenges we met when we came back, but that's a story for another day. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were working in the archbishop's office for some time, for five, five years, I think, before we were taken to Makerere. Mm -hmm. So meanwhile, the children had increased. We had five children. And uh, five children with a church payment, the way they pay their workers was difficult mm. to manage five children on their pay. So I resorted to doing a few things apart from the work I was doing. But eventually it was impossible for me to stay working continuously. The pay was very little. And this you were working in what ministry then? I was working ministry of animal. Mm -hmm. Husbandry and agriculture and something. Anyway, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes. Ministry of animal resources or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were paying very little. Mm -hmm. But the office I was in was very corrupted. Mm. Maybe I will say it because it was not right. Mm. The people would dilute the medicine, which they got, we were getting, I think, donations from abroad because mm -hmm. Uganda was not stable. And they should get medicine and dilute it and take to treat people's cows, the livestock, with diluted mm. medicine. I couldn't stand that. Mm -hmm. I couldn't stand that. I told my husband, I think I, I am in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. I can't stand with people diluting medicine or stealing. We were in Kampala district and people would get papers and claim money that they had stayed, spent so many days outside treating. And they would claim outside money. Kampala, yes. 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 And they would get money where I was, was corrupt, mm -hmm. and I couldn't stand it. Mm -hmm. I told my husband, I think I'm going to stop. I cannot claim money. People are there eating money. Mm -hmm. The corruption, I saw corruption. Mm -hmm. really. mm -hmm. At its best, mm -hmm. I stopped to work. Mm -hmm. Why did I stop? I had five children, and I am here sitting among people who are cheating. Mm -hmm. I thought I could do something better. Mm -hmm. So I started baking, baking or any kind, mm -hmm. cookies, bread, whatever, and selling them. Mm -hmm. I was roasting, I was taking chai to this office. They'd buy that tea, I'd roast gonja and company that and make some little money, but it wasn't much. Mm -hmm. was it? I needed to be at home completely. I had had some helpers. It wasn't satisfying to find my children have been beaten. To find, I find, I mean, things would not be the same. Mm. So I made a resolution. I'm going to stop to work mm -hmm. and take care of my children. Mm -hmm. This work, I, this money I get from this place doesn't do anything for us. Mm. I needed to have something income going on. So I stopped to work, but I was still be on the payroll. 7,000 shillings. That's what we were getting. Then children were in, in kindergarten, in primary school. That money wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did. Stayed home, was a stay-home mom. I saw how my children, when they came from school in primary school, 
They needed to find a mom at home, mm -hmm. not a house help. Mm -hmm. Those who went to kindergarten, they're small. I had to go and fetch them from school. Mm -hmm. You can't join the two. You can't be mm -hmm. a good worker having two things. Something will miss out. Mm -hmm. So as a Christian, where I took out as a Christian, I needed to, to pave the way. Then fortunately, fortunately at that time, I think it was fortunate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Others would think it was bad. The government had to, MIF, whatever, advise, yeah, advise mm -hmm. that they had to lessen the, the yeah, workers, downsize. downsize. Yes. So they laid off people, and I was among those who were laid off. Mm -hmm. I really did not regret it mm -hmm. because I made the choice. Mm -hmm. And they were doing the right thing, I mean, to. Although there are people who were in my category who were never, or what they paid the bribe to be remain, their names to remain on the government, government payroll. payroll. Yes, yes. But so I was number 103 mm -hmm. on that paper mm -hmm. because they called us to go to Entebbe to get that little money mm -hmm. well, as a send off. Mm -hmm. Very little. They cheated us. Anyway, so I got money. They gave me, I received two million shillings to take me back to Kabale. Mm -hmm. And so I went and got the money. I brought it. And uh, that money is what we used to buy the land in Wakiso. Mm -hmm. So I didn't lose. I gained, I think, that money we bought that land. And so that is the work ended there. Mm -hmm. yes, and I settled yes. at home. So the, in a sense, the, the formal government work mm -hmm. ended, ended, but you still had your full-time yes. job as a mother, as a wife, mm -hmm. as supporting both mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. growing and nurturing of the children, yes. as well as growing and nurturing uh, the ministries alongside yes. Um, yes. Reverend Ben. Then the children are growing. Mm -hmm. We are transferred from um, uh, Namirembe to Makerere University. Mm -hmm. It was a funny transfer. But we went when in a church which we served in. When you are transferred somewhere, you must go. Mm -hmm. There is no option. You go. So we went to Makere University and I was very skeptical of this place. We arrived, no one welcomed us. But we were there with our children, the, the girls in Gayaza, the boys eventually in Budo. Very hard work. Very hard work of raising children. Only we have only one money earn. Only my husband was earning money, very little money. But somehow we had agreed from the beginning. My husband said he doesn't know how to manage money. So he put me in charge. I was in charge of using this little money. To look after the children, there is school fees, there is dressing, there is eating. Uh, I know some people would say, how did you do it? Indeed, how did I do it? God gave me wisdom mm. of how to manage this. I can't say it is my wisdom, mm -hmm. but it, it did. It did. And we eventually got some little help here and there from friends, from... <sighs> it was hard. But the children went to school. Jackie went to Gayaza. I remember I took her on a bus to go to Gayaza High School. We went in each bus. We went, we carried things from the road to the gate of the school. I went back. I don't know how I reached home. Then Gloria went to Gayaza, went to Budo first, and then went to Gayaza. 
Rachel went to Gayaza. Paul went to Budo. Paul Peter went to Budo. It was not an easy job because my mind was thinking this way, thinking that way. What will I do? What will I take? When will I go? Well, it was, I, I know God has given me this ahead, but with a lot of brain thinking. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So to manage those, because my husband was busy working at church. And to get him on Saturday on a visiting day sometimes was hard, but sometimes we went together. Mm. To be able to visit those kids, you have to visit children in a boarding school. At that time, they allowed us to go even three times in a month if you are able to do. If you are able to visit your children, they would allow you to go. Mm -hmm. And so, but all that was spending. Mm -hmm. Just a little money. Yes. Managing, because I, I said, instead of going to buy from the market, I'll buy flour and make from home. And so the things they did, I made. Then, you know, the groundnuts, but mainly the cookies. And you see children, you give them cookies, cookies, they give them away, but I made them. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Cookies. So, when I look back, I don't know how it happened, mm. but we never went without food mm. on one salary mm. from the university, one salary. Because I stopped, I tried business, it failed. It failed really. Mm. And sometime it failed. I don't know how, but it failed. I left mm. business completely. I went to church work. Mm. So, but the children went to school. Jack went, the girls, her sisters found their heart there. And they, then the boys in Budo were found each other there. And I thank God that in his way, his way, of mercy, of supporting. He made us go through. Mm -hmm. And uh, as uh, one of them said, Paul said, people thought we were rich mm -hmm. because you were coming every month to visit. Mm -hmm. And he, did, he would say, no, but how come you, you have all these things? They bring you all that milk, what? I knew how to, where to go to buy these things. Mm -hmm. I went to Chikubo in Kampara. Mm -hmm. I bought things there. I went to Owino Market. Mm -hmm. I went, where did I know? And you can't imagine, we even had a car. Mm -hmm. God gave us cars, we never bought a car. When this one was getting old, he would provide another one. Mm -hmm. Up to today. Mm -hmm. And so we managed because God was on our side. Mm -hmm. I cannot front anyone yes. except God. Yes, yes. When you trust God, he will provide mm -hmm. according to his reach and provide what you need, yes. not yes. beyond that. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. gives you what you need. School fees, provides. Clothing, shoes, whatever they needed, God provided. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then you are at Makiri. Yes. And you know that a time will come. Yes. When that job too will end. How did you prepare for that moment? What were you thinking? What were your fears? What were your hopes? How, how did you prepare? Now, wisdom again from God. Mm -hmm. I began to think we are going to retire. My husband is busy with church. Mm -hmm. But how, where are we going to do when we live here? One time, the Chiseka market, the place where, not Chiseka, yes, Chiseka place where they were a small Rooms for hire. Mm, Lock-up shops. Lock-up shops. Mm. We were at a party. No, we had tried to buy land. We tried to buy land mm -hmm. first. I said we need, 
Some people sent us some money, friends of ours from Canada, and we had some money. And I told him, let's buy land. We look for land brokers. They really cheated us. Mm -hmm. We bought land which was already occupied. Oh, no. The Mbeja land. One, they ate our money. Mm. Then we bought this land, which is next to our land in Wakisho. Mm -hmm. Then somebody claimed that it was their Chivanja, but we, we couldn't buy it. We lost that money. But then the money I got from retrenchment is the one we used before. But before, to go back a little, we were at a baptism party, and this person said, you know, do you have where you land? We said, no. I said, I know. He said, no. In Ureza, there is, uh, they are going to divide up that land, sell the land. You can go there tomorrow. They will be there. And I am sitting beside my husband. There is the land there. He said, eh, but we don't have money. I said, we can just go and look. Another one told me, tomorrow they are giving those kiosks in a Chiseka yeah, place. You can go there tomorrow, said Nayanawe. We don't have money. I said, I don't mind. Now what do we do? We are going to go to Reza, but there is this Chiseka thing. In me, there was something working. Said he had a relative who is placed high, he could lend us that three million mm. to rent that cathedral. Mm. And then Church of Uganda, all saints, the pastors had put money together and that has, we had contributed. I said, that money, which is in all saints, we can take it out and buy Reza. Now you want us to hold two things together. I said, we can't, let's just get it. So in the morning we get up, we went to Rueza. We found them there, mm -hmm. giving land. Mm -hmm. Which land do you want? So we chose there. We chose that a quarter. But they said, you can have more. Mm -hmm. They said, we don't have money. We could have had um, an acre, mm -hmm. because one acre was 4.5 million, mm -hmm. one acre. Mm -hmm. But my friend, no money. Anyway, we bought an acre. But they were not asking us to pay the money, all of it. Yes. You can buy it in installment. Mm -hmm. said, oh, thank you, Lord. Then, if the three days later, he went to this relative of his. He asked him, he said, oh. He gave him the money. Mm -hmm. And he said, yeah, I will pay you. He said, no, you don't pay me. You take, go buy what you want to buy. Took the money, he bought. So one week, we yes. bought that two properties. Two properties. Yes. It was amazing. I, um, I found out that the other, maybe, but anyway, we rejoiced. We had had that. But so I was supposed to now. We would take you to Reza. Remember? You, is, you take the children to Reza. To Reza, yes. under the mango tree. Mm -hmm. There was a mango tree. Mm -hmm. We owned the land with a mango tree. Yes. But we had put a barbed wire mm -hmm. around the property. So... For some years, that land was empty. Mm -hmm. We didn't have anything to build with, mm -hmm. but we were happy we had a property mm -hmm. because for many years we had nothing mm -hmm. to look to. Mm -hmm. Now we had one a quarter acre of land and a kiosk in a trading center. We hired it out. Mm -hmm. And so that's how it was before I go into church, because the church is a different thing. Mm -hmm. But that's how we managed slowly. Slowly. Mm -hmm. When a, a person is focused on church, 
Mm-hmm. You can't twist him now to go to business. Yes. It is hard. That is cheating him out. Mm. I decided I will do what I can mm-hmm. to let him continue to work. Yeah. I didn't choose him to go to work. God is the one who has chosen him. So I will not stand in his way. Mm-hmm. Let me manage what I can. Mm-hmm. You'll find what is there. And that's how we managed to have a car property. Mm-hmm. But otherwise, and then afterwards, and I told you we bought this land with the two 1.5 million from what I had gotten. Mm-hmm. And the land in Wakiso became problematic. Yes. Somebody said it was his plot of land and took some time before we owned that land. But you see now we are becoming rich. Yes. We have now <laughs> land in Wakiso, three yes. and a half acre of lands. Yes. yes. We have Reza, mm-hmm. we have the Kajosu. Yes. Banang. Then building. Yes. God is amazing. Mm. When we say he's our provider, we are saying it's so little. God knows what we need mm. and he provides in the right time. And so we had bought this land. We said we'll put a pitla tree first. Mm -hmm. We had (laughs) 200,000. We dug a pothole. Not a pothole, a hole. (laughs) A hole. A deep hole, yes. A deep hole. Yes. And built toilet. Because if you are going to start to build, you must have toilet. So... If we took the children, if they I want to go to that, there is a toilet. <laughs> it is a small place, but building you have never built. And so I, we started to build. Now I know how to build, really, from what I did in Reza, and engineers at, at campus, our friends told me what to do and told to me, make sure you look, look out for this, and this, and this, and this. Four things make start off the building. I said, fine. I had a car. I had a, we had the pickup now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We had up the pickup, and I drive the materials for that place. I carried them. You ferried them on the Yes, I ferried them. I knew where to go and buy brick, bricks, where to buy stones, who, who to contact, who is the builder. When, when you go in my phone, on my phone, there is builder so and so, the sand man, mm-hmm. the brick man, <laughs> yes. the water man, yes. the plumber, but the painter, the, I have them all in my phone. Mm-hmm. Because then you need to contact them. Mm-hmm. We started with little by digging a foundation. I was surprised that one truck cannot finish the foundation. Mm-hmm. One we need of, of, of stones. Of stones, yes. So I was told we need three more bricks. You know that road going to, to the lake where there is a, a resort. Mm-hmm. Was it? Stones were, but there were bricks there. So I take my pickup, pick up, see, pack blo- blocks, I go, I go on the tunnel. I say, I want so many bricks from your tunnel. So I went, I go and ferry them mm-hmm. before I come home for lunch. Mm-hmm. So I did all that and eventually built the house, which you saw, see there. Mm-hmm was amazing. I learned how to build, mm-hmm. what materials you need. Mm-hmm. I gained knowledge of what to do. Mm-hmm. And then we had the house, the house yes. in Reza. And we were very happy. Mm-hmm. So if we retire, at least we have to bring our stuff here. That was our thinking. Mm-hmm. But it's a small plot. The Land in Wakiso had a challenge with the people who claimed it was their land. 
the yachivanja we didn't understand it because when you come to, from Kigiz, there is no chivanja. If the land is yours, it's yours. Mm -hmm. It took us like eight years before we secured our land in, in, in Wakiso. Mm -hmm. And the thing was, maybe we we'll live in Rueza mm -hmm. and go dig in where? In Wakiso. In Wakiso. Mm -hmm. But then we saw that it was impossible. Mm -hmm. It would cost money. Mm -hmm. You need petrol to drive from Reza to Wakiso. Mm -hmm. With talking with people, we decided to, to, to build in Wakiso. And time is running. And mm -hmm. time is running. Mm -hmm. And yet there is work at, at Makerere. There is building. We are building the center. The student center, yes. And we are building Wakiso, our home. I cannot tell you how money came to us mm -hmm. to build the house we are living mm -hmm. in. Because we had to start on a house where we would go in 2017. 2007. 2007. <laughs> it took seven years to build that house. Mm. Little by little. Mm. Little by little. It was much harder building that house than the house in Weza mm -hmm. because it needed more. Mm -hmm. It is a big house, bigger house, not a very big, but big house. Mm -hmm. We needed more materials, we needed all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. But God provided mm -hmm. more time than my husband. I was present yes. with the builders. Yes. They knew me. The, some of them didn't like a woman. Yes. The Baganda don't like a woman to be the one to give them money. They want the man to be the one to give them money. Mm. I said, what does that mean? I do I bite people? I give you your money. Have I, kunyagad, have I cheated you? Cheated you in yes, any way? Yes. No, but you, you do you speak with the you're tough. You are tough. <laughs> I said, that's why I'm a muchiga. Yes. <laughs> I tell you the truth. Yes. I don't cover up. No. If you have done wrong, you have done wrong. So that's how I worked hard. Mm. And I'd take daddy on Saturdays to go and see. And sometimes if you had a little time to come and see how far we have gone. That's how God... Mm used me, used me to be able to manage the house finance, mm. finances. Mm. Wow. It was not easy, but I still am managing. Yes, yes. And now I am almost defeated. There is so much now to do yes. than ever before yes. because of the pool. But that is a different story. Mm. But that's how when we finish Makerere, they put you on a truck to take you where you want to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We had finished our house. Our things came from Makerere to our own home. Mm -hmm. That's where we are living today. Yes. Is there anything else that you had to prepare apart from securing where you would go in terms of a physical building, a house? Is there anything else you had to do to prepare for retirement? Like what? Mm. Clues. Did you, like in the church, I know that you worked alongside oh, your oh. husband mm. um, and, and helped support the growth of many of the ministries. So how did that transition happen since you were retiring together as chaplain and his wife? You know you are going to retire. Mm -hmm. One of the things was to strengthen the things we had started there. Mm. Mm. We introduced things that were not there. Mm -hmm. We found, as I think he spoke probably about it, but we found a dead church. Mm -hmm. we, have, we had, by God's grace, it had risen. Mm -hmm. To a certain level, we found 35. Mm -hmm. We left four million almost people mm -hmm. going to church. Mm -hmm. 
A thousand, four thousand. Four thousand, you don't know. You don't know. But the, the, it came from zero. It was raised up high. What my husband has as a gift, he knows how to work with people without forcing them, but encouraging them and drawing them to himself mm -hmm. and working together. Mm -hmm. I think teamwork, mm -hmm. teamwork was really good. So people knew what to do. Mm -hmm. And so we prepared that. Mm -hmm. We had finished the center. Mm -hmm. We worked hard to participate to do that center mm -hmm. so that we leave something visible on the ground mm -hmm. and making sure because I wasn't touching we didn't touch church money mm -hmm. so he made, made sure that the money of the church was church money mm -hmm. so he had nothing to do with church money mm -hmm. so I didn't know what else maybe I made sure there was uh, I introduced um, Several things. I don't remember them all. But Mother's Union mm -hmm. is the strongest in, in uh, Kampara Diocese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Being led in by a young person, mm -hmm. like Tisha. Mm -hmm. we, because we worked with young people mm -hmm. and introduced them to different things. Mm -hmm. So that when we left Makerere, church money was church money mm -hmm. and remained there. Mm -hmm. It was squandered later when people came in, but there was proper lining up. This is this for the church, this is for the church. Mm -hmm. So you were going, and we prepared to go. Mm -hmm. we, those days when the house was done and everything, mm -hmm. my mind was now on going to work. So, yes, this is property, we have to leave it. Mm -hmm. We have now our own house. Mm -hmm. We didn't have church things in the house. There was those mm -hmm. chairs, but well, we were going, and you had already gone, and Rachel had left to go to to Reza because mm -hmm. she has to go to Reza. Paul has go, had gone, Glory had gone. We had Peter mm -hmm. only, mm -hmm. and uh, and so we were going. Peacefully. Mm -hmm. Peter was married, then he mm -hmm. still was living with his wife. Mm -hmm. It was me and my husband. Mm -hmm. I believed, mm -hmm. I still believe, that God who had seen us into Makere, mm -hmm. it's not by might nor by power, mm -hmm. but by his spirit. He helped us raise the church. Mm -hmm. And he would help us in our retirement. Mm -hmm. My husband was jittery. He, your father was thinking, now we are going to work so, what are we going to eat? How is going? What? We don't have a pay. Maybe he talked about no, no, no pension. Mm -hmm. But we were going. Yes. God who brought us from Kawale was still the same God who would take us to Yes. The yes. Yes. Uh, so I encouraged him, but he got sick, really. He got a yes. heart problem from thinking that uh, no one would, mm. would from be there exactly. for us. Yes. Anxiety yes. was too much. Yeah. But I believed, I encouraged him. I didn't go into that. Mm. I thought God would still be with us. Mm -hmm. The first year was a bit challenging because mm -hmm. he got sick and but God was with us. Mm. Yeah. From being the one, somebody's weak, you have to stand firm. Yes. And being able to, to stand your ground. Mm. God has not really abandoned us. Yes. yes you yes. have served him faithfully. Yes. And he's faithful. Mm -hmm. He reward our faithfulness. Mm -hmm. And he has done that. Mm -hmm. And so there wasn't much on my side. Because there, there is going to be anyway transfer. They had waited for a year. Orombi had come and told the church, ah, he's going in how many years? He 
then people knowing that you are going, they somehow begin to withdraw. And so you know people who are with you mm. and you know who people are not with you. Mm. And then, of course, it comes into what we did towards that. But uh, so we began to see that trend and we worked accordingly. You knew whom to trust and whom not to trust. Mm -hmm. We had a meeting where he told the church, this is your church. You know how to lead for it. The cadres were the leaders of the council and they were the ones who were going to welcome the next chaplain. Mm -hmm. We were pouring out. Daddy worked so hard to make sure everything was in its place. That he will not go and they say, he did that, he did the other. It was really amazing. They yeah. couldn't point a finger. Yes. Not a finger yeah. on Mugaru. Yeah. It's, it's, and as we wind down this conversation, yes. Auntie Joy, yes. I think you have pointed to several very powerful lessons mm. from the story that you have shared. One being absolute faith and trust in God to lead you. Mm -hmm. The other, applying wisdom. Because yes. it's one thing for God to give yes, yes, wisdom and yes. it's another to use it. To use it. Right? right? So yeah. to use the wisdom mm -hmm. to start to lay ground for the retirement. And that's how you, mm -hmm. you know, and the wisdom in terms of managing resources, in terms of acquiring resources, you said you became a builder. Yes. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> because often we think that, you know, I'm old. I, 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 I've I finished my learning journey. Mm. Who knew <laughs> that I Auntie Joy... I am still building. <laughs> you're still building, right? Yes. That you gained new no, knowledge yes. and new skills for yes. that season. Yes. For yes. that season. Yes. Um, which you're still using to mm. today. Mm. Uh, you also have shared that part of your transition out of my career was to strengthen that that you had started. Yes. But also very powerfully as you've ended mm. to leave well, to leave your house in order. Yes. Many leaders transition and just leave chaos. Yes. yes. And chaos for the next people to, yes, pick, to up. pick up. And it's such a hot potato. Those people say, ah, yes. if you left this, even me, I've gone. Well, remember the cockroaches. <laughs> So how are you leaving? Are you leaving the as much as you can? Yes. Are you leaving the place in order? Mm. And even to your first story about how you left your the government job. Yes. You your values drove you, right? So sometimes what causes us to leave a place mm. is values. And if there's no longer values alignment, that can portend a transition out. Mm. So many lessons from your story, Auntie Joy, and we thank you so much. I just want you to now cast your net. Uh, I think you said you're a grandmother and a great grandmother. Yes. Think about the many uh, young leaders out there that have gone through your hands that are leading many enterprises and mm. entities across this country. Mm. Mm. What is that one word of wisdom that you would leave them in terms of and when you start to think about that day please do x or think about x you see leadership or work you are doing is provided by god mm. many people think they have achieved it but mm. through who mm. god is the wise god mm. god has a plan for you. Mm -hmm. God knows you are tomorrow. You are past, present, and future. Mm -hmm. And so if you do not trust him and trust yourself, that you look, you become proud. And you know God can leave you aside. Yes. <laughs> so first, first for me, because it came from my father. Trust God, mm. and we have it. Trust God with all your heart, mm. and lean not on your understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. Yes. Proverbs chapter three, verse five to seven. Then He will pave your way. Mm. And in the things that you do, don't think it is about you. Mm. No, it is not about you. Mm. 
give God his space. Mm -hmm. Thank him continuously. Love him because he first loved you. And then whatever else you do, you know it is God. It is not my ability because he didn't have it. He provides. And through that, you really succeed. And then because he knows your future, he will provide him the way to the future. And that, I think that's what I can say. Okay. No one has that knowledge and understanding. Mm -hmm. And when we become proud and say, you see what I have done. Okay? Mm -hmm. And of course, God is watching. We have, he's watching you, marking God. You do. <laughs> yes. I think old, young and old, one thing they can do, when they were putting on the results for P7 this year, I was so amazed that young people were saying, it was not me. Mm -hmm. It was God who helped me. Mm -hmm. I thank God who helped me. I said, what about the last generations? How come they were not thanking God? Mm -hmm. To say these young people thanking God. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, my teachers and they said, no, God mm -hmm. helped my teachers to, mm -hmm. to teach us well. Mm -hmm. It is God himself. Mm -hmm. We are here not because we want to, but because he wants us to be. Mm -hmm. And so when you are young and 20 and you think, who can touch me, look at me. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't be misdirected. Yes. God first. And then, and uh, we were talking with Finley. So now Finley about this is him. And that's your grandson. For yes, people my who don't grandson. Know. Yes. Finley is my grandson. Mm -hmm. He knows one thing, that if God hasn't done it, it can't happen. Mm -hmm. It is God. Mm -hmm. Can we teach even our children as parents, you are a member of parliament, you are heading this, this organization, you are, and you are, people are carrying you like this, and they can let go. Mm. Yeah. But that's how not go. God wants us to believe and trust him. And to, when we trust him, he does amazing things. Mm -hmm. And I, I think whoever is listening, may think I am naive, but I'm not naive to say God first. Mm. In everything you do, mm. God first. Mm -hmm. And the wisdom he gave me, he'll mm. give you even much more, of course. Yes. He, he doesn't stop. And, but he has a portion, a portion for each person. Mm. What he has given me, he may not give you. Mm -hmm. He gives space. Each according, each according to their abilities mm -hmm. and things. Mm -hmm. so, yes, so. Yeah. They should prepare blessing that even when they have left, left that position, God is still with them. Mm -hmm. People fear. Fear now what are we going to do? We have many clergy who, has who have retired and they don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, for me, I think, either the ladies don't work together with their husbands mm -hmm. and see, or the woman was left behind, was not given opportunity. Mm -hmm. Because I think for me, my husband gave me opportunity. Mm -hmm. When he was busy in, in church, he gave me freedom to now be able to do the other things. Mm -hmm. And he didn't look back and come and say, how much money have you spent? How? No. Mm -hmm. No, he knew I was doing what was right, right for the family. And a little Kamane, when, for instance, when we told uh, you to bring in friends, especially in the time of Paul and Peter and Rachel, bring in your friends. These friends came to our house. There was always some tea. There was always some bread, some banana for them to eat. Mm -hmm. If I was spoiling that money, would I buy those things to feed those people? Mm -hmm. Because I was open-minded. People will come and have something to eat. And these young people, their parents are there in the village, and they have come. I am hungry. And I give them something to eat, something to drink. Mm -hmm. Do you know, I was preparing my retirement. Mm -hmm. I was preparing my retirement. I loved people. 
And even today, if you come in, I have some water, you'll drink it. Mm -hmm. So that is how I can advise people. Open to God, be open to God. Mm -hmm. This is put it on bear before you. And he knows it even if you refuse. And he can't force you mm -hmm. to tell you. Mm -hmm. okay? But be front God first and all other things follow. will follow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much, Auntie Joy, for sharing your wisdom, for sharing your story, mm -hmm. for sharing your encouragement and admonishment to leaders. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, those that have been listening to us and join us again for our next episode of Footprints. Thank you so much.